hypothesis testing, contingency tables and E values less than 5. This table shows observed values, so frequencies, for students on a particular course by gender and an optional course that they must also study. So first of all work out the totals for the rows and columns and the table total. Okay, these are all of the totals. We need a H0 and a H1. H0, the subject choice, is independent of gender. H1, subject choice, is not independent of gender. Work out the E values. And there's a problem right here. E values should be more than 5. And if any value is less than 5, then certain categories need to be combined. They need to be pulled together before continuing with the test. The category affected is French, but we can conveniently combine this with Russian to create a new category called Languages. To do so, we will add the O values together, so the 2 and the 15 are added together, as are the 10 and the 21, and add the E values together, 3.50, 10.50 to give you a new value, 8.50, 25.50 to give you a new value. OK, that's all been done. Now the E values are all fine, they are all over 5. You can do the hypothesis test, but remember, you're starting with this table, so you have two rows and three columns. Two rows and three columns. So when you come to work out the number of degrees of freedom, the number of rows is two, so you do this. The number of columns is three, so you do this, which equals one times two, so you've got two degrees of freedom. This test eventually gives you a test statistic of 2.42, the critical value from uh, the chi-squared table is 5.99, the TS value on this number line here is in the acceptance region, except H0, there's no evidence that the subject choice depends on gender. So remember, the only reason that we have pulled categories together, so combined categories, is because E values have to be more than 5. The O values don't matter. It doesn't matter that values 2. That's got nothing to do with it. It's the E values. Here's an expected value. It's less than 5. That creates problems. So in this case, combining French and Russian together to create a new category called languages seemed sensible.